Well, it, it, regardless of how it's displayed, a soap opera or any kind of scripted uh, episodic television is really the low-hanging fruit we've missed. We've gone around the lowest hanging fruit to stuff that's much harder to shoot. Doing, you know, a 22 or 30 or, or 40 camera, uh, uh, you know, sporting event is a lot harder. You show up with, with, uh, with three cameras to, to, to shoot uh, uh, scripted, uh, you know, dramatic. That's very straightforward. And the reason I say it's a low-hanging fruit is because it's very much like movie production, which is closer to just a, just a few cameras. That the technology hit is is going to be much less. It's certainly, I mean, if we can do 30 cameras, we can do three very very easily. And you're not doing visual effects because you don't have the post-production for it. It's getting shot, it's getting cut, it's going out very very quick turn. And that kind of uh, of uh, you know the market for episodic, whether it's whether it's soap operas or whether it's scripted one hours or whatever it is, I think that that should be the, the the place where we should be looking for the most rapid growth. Again, because of that intimacy factor that the 3D gives you, and you talk about you talk about a, an increase to the to the to the impact to the viewer. If you have some big 150 million dollar movie with a lot of visual effects in it, the 3D makes it better. Doesn't make it a lot better because it's already spectacular. You take a small drama, you shoot it in 3D, and man, you're right there. And and there's nothing more interesting to watch than human beings. Human beings like to watch human beings. It's sort of the basis of all of all scripted drama that, that that's being done out there. And in 3D, you feel like you're right there. You feel like you're involved.